when you get nervous in this kind of situation that you're describing, what often happens to people is they start paying attention to themselves. They get self-conscious. So, you know, let's say I got self-conscious all of a sudden during this Q&A. What would happen is that I'd stop paying attention to the questions and the screen and what I'm doing, and I'd start paying attention to how I was feeling and to the nervousness, and then I'd start to get aware that I was not responding properly, and that would make me more nervous, and then I would get more aware of that, and that can just shut me down entirely. And that's happened to me now and then in a lecture, and sometimes it almost happened when I was talking to Sam Harris the first time. Um, I, I paused for a long time and then became aware of the pause, and then, anyways, what you have to do in a situation like that is it's not so much that you have to stop attending to yourself because if you start thinking I should stop attending to myself then you'll just think about yourself more what you have to do instead is pay more attention <clears throat> to the situation and to the people that you're talking to so you have to increase the degree to which you're at attending outwardly and that'll stop you from attending inwardly um, that's a very effective technique. You can practice that, generally speaking. Every time you get nervous, start paying more attention, and that'll that'll uh, that'll help you out a lot. Um, the that's a really good suggestion for social anxiety in general. Is that if you see most people, but not everyone, but most people have enough implicit social skill because they were reasonably socialized when they were children, so that. They do know how to act in social situations, but they get anxious and then that interferes with them implementing what they know. Just like if you're a pianist and you get anxious and self-conscious while you're playing, you'll forget what you know because, well, you've activated a different part of your brain. If you can remember to pay attention and you can direct your attention outward and you attend hard enough, then what will happen and try to put the other person at ease and try to ask them questions, then that'll kick in the automatic because you're paying attention to what the person is doing and to their facial expressions and all of that that will clue in the automatic and implicit uh, knowledge that you have and make things much more smooth and and uh, and anxiety free so attention really attention really plays a huge role in regulating anxiety